Boys and girls, today we are making a spring blossoming tree. We are gonna start by looking at this piece of paper. And what color is this paper? It is blue. And anybody know the shape? It has those two long sides and two short sides, which makes a rectangle. And I haven't talked much about this in the last crafts. I know sometimes we put our name on it, but if you have not been putting your name on your crafts, it's really important that you start doing that because I need you to practice your name so that for kindergarten you are ready and your teacher is able to write or to read your name. So I'm gonna put my name on the back of this paper. You're going to put your name and then I'm just gonna turn it over just like that. And to start, we're gonna find the bottom of our paper. So if I'm looking at this paper, I need to find the bottom. So here's the bottom, and then I wanna find the middle. So the bottom and the right in the middle. So about right here. Can you guys put your finger on your paper in the middle? At the bottom. Then I'm going to find my brown. What shape is this? Two long sides, two short sides makes a rectangle. I don't want glue to get all over my blue piece of paper, so I'm gonna set the brown off to the side, put glue on the back, I'm gonna turn it over. I want this to be sticking straight up so it's long. If I go like this, this is not right. That's not being placed on the paper correctly. I need it to point up right in the middle, touching the bottom. So it should look like that. This is going to be, remember I said, a blossoming spring tree. So what part of the tree do you think this is? It's the trunk, yes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need a brown crayon. And from the trunk of a tree grows what? Branches. So to start with my branches, I'm just going to make one big long line come up and kind of curve out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and it's gonna go off this way. So I have two branches, but that's not enough. Trees have more than two branches. Sometimes they even have branches that grow off of other branches. So all I'm gonna do here is make my tree have lots of branches. Does that look more like a tree now? What is it missing? Yeah, my tree is missing the blossoms. And right now, if you are outside and you're driving around in your mom or dad's car, you'll notice a lot of our trees have pink blossoms, pink little flowers that are growing on the tree. So I have some funny paper. It's not construction paper, we call this tissue paper. And it's pink, because those are going to be my flowers. So to put my flowers on, I'm gonna go to a tree branch and I'm gonna put a little dot of glue. I'm just gonna start with one dot of glue. And I'm gonna pick the tissue paper up. I'm gonna stick my finger up, my pointer finger, and I'm gonna wrap the tissue paper around my finger. I'm not squishing the tissue paper into a ball. I'm wrapping it around the tip of my finger. Then I'm gonna go to where that glue dot is and I'm just gonna go stick it right there. Then I'm gonna go to another spot on my tree. I want blossoms growing all around it, but they're only growing on the branches. I'll wrap the tissue paper around my finger, put it right on the glue. And I'm just gonna keep moving on my tree, making sure I get blossoms all over. I don't want them all in the same spot. I'll wrap it around the end of my finger and glue it on. keep going until I've used all of my pink tissue paper. 
once I've used all of the tissue paper, that tells me I'm done with the blossoms. Looks like I need one more over here. And this piece right here is too small to wrap around my finger, so I'm not going to use that one. You'll notice that I have some tissue paper still left, but what color is this tissue paper? It's green. I wonder what I could use around my tree that would be green. Hmm. What if I put some glue down here? And then I take the tissue paper and I do the same thing. I wrap it around my finger. What am I putting at the bottom of my tree? It's grass. And I need some grass on this side. Remember, all I'm doing is I'm wrapping that around the tip of my finger. Such a pretty blossoming tree I have here. And I have one more piece. I think I'm going to squeeze it in right over here. There we go. 